I'm excited today to be with Fred Shabesta. I've known Fred for around a decade because um, we're in a similar industry um, in terms of digital and product development. And Fred has a wonderful story to tell about his comparison site, finder.com. You probably know the jingle, um, but we're going to find out more about Fred's journey today. Thanks for coming, Fred. So Fred, you have made it onto the AFR rich list, the young rich list. Tell me about um, what that means to you. Yeah, I think it's really a recognition to um, you know Frank coming on this journey with me and the team at Finder as well and what they've achieved. It's, I'm only one small part of that. Um, so I think it's really, it's, it's the recognition that they you know, they've done and put together and made that, that happen. Um, did you set out from the beginning to, you know, on a journey to build wealth? Because in the industry, um, the real estate industry, that's, you know, uh, that's why people come into property as a professional is because there's, you know, no ceiling to what you can earn. So was that your objective from day one? I, I think I had a lot of skills uh, with, you know, digital marketing um, that I built at an agency. So I kind of was trading time for money. And then I wanted to sort of build um, a, a scalable company or something which I could scale with where there is no ceiling yet. So it is very similar. Um, and I think, you know, being an agent, obviously, it, in some way you, you kind of build a client base, you build a reputation, you build a beat that you sort of, you know, in a, in a niche. And I think that's, that's similar to us. We sort of, you know, we're, we're, we're a mile, you know, an inch, inch wide and a mile deep in terms of specialty in what we do. Um, so it's, it's similar in, in that sense. I wanted to sort of take those skills and turn them into something which um, could be scaled. And do you mind sharing like what your um, public wealth has been reported as? So I think it was, uh, I don't know the exact number, I think it's sort of 198 million or something like that, which is, yeah. And you've achieved that in 13 years with Frank. Yeah, so Frank's um, a, um, been with me, you know, we've been working for a long time. Um, actually, we've been working longer than I was married, but that's um, neither here nor there. Um, I have a great relationship with my ex-wife as well, but, um, and, you know, I think that, you know, this is kind of another thing which I sort of look for is that partnership. Um, and you, it, I think as an individual, you have a lot of skills and then you need someone else, I think, that can sort of, um, you know, balance those out. Yeah, and I so think, you complement each other. Yeah. And what was the tipping point for you in your business? Like, when did it really, you know, how many years in did it really take off? It started from, from nothing. Um, and, and it really started as a blog. So, and it was very simple in the beginning. We just talked about credit cards. I think the moment when we started, you know, we talked about credit cards and we had like Home Loan Finder and Personal Loan Finder, we had these different sites. When we aggregated them together, and made finder.com.au, that was when you know, it really took off. And then I think when we launched the international business, the finder.com, that's when now you know, we're sort of setting our sights even, even much higher. Um, and and you know, I think that's about, you know, if you look, what is instructive about that is find something in the beginning that's small and a nice tight niche that you can master. Um, and then from there, you, you can start to expand and get wider and wider and wider. But I think in the beginning, you know, there's a habit of people just want to just do everything, um, whereas I'm not sure that's the best best approach. I found the better approach to being um, where you, you know, find something, master it, become the best at it, focus on it, and then uh, start to expand from there. I love the fact that you started from a blog and then had all these different sites that you then aggregated today. Tell me, how many countries are you in now with Finder.com and um, like what revenue do you make on an annual basis? Yes, um, we, we've just started launching these you know, new sites into um, the US about three years ago, um, the UK is about two years ago, Canada just started three months ago. Um, we have an office in Poland and in Manila as well. Uh, so in the Philippines, um, but we don't we don't actually market that locally there. We have a little bit of content, um, but there are some verticals that we market all around the world. So I think it's about seventy three different countries there. I think we're on track this year for for a hundred mil plus in revenue. So um, that's sort of where we're at today. Well done. That's amazing in just over a decade. So that's a, an amazing achievement. So. Um, 
tell me about um, what you need, you know, how you need to operate as an entrepreneur. Like, what do you, you know, how is it different from, you know, working for somebody else, working for yourself? What do you have to, you know, give every day? The sacrifices that you need to make are extraordinary if you want to build a great company. Um, the time, the, the friendships, the, the, you know, I guess you'd be, explain this to your family, explain this to your friends, um, and, and say, you know, I'm going to commit to this wholly and solely. Because I, I believe if you don't do that, you're not, you're not going to get there. So you're saying, so you make sacrifices, which is very much part of the, pro, you know, the property profession as well, because they, they work 24-7, they're really invested in their business, um, and, um, and so it's very, yeah, very similar. You, you kind of give up everything <laughs> for this quest to you know, uh, provide a great service, but also you know, build wealth and uh, get your family into a great position. So did you have any setbacks along the way that you had to overcome as an entrepreneur? And how did you overcome those? Oh, lots, you know. Um, one of our, you know, sort of, I guess, big challenges where we got penalized by Google. Um, what that means is you don't get a fine or anything, you don't go to jail, uh, but um, they basically take your rankings and they move you down like 200 places. So you get buried in the back of Google, um, which is kind of brutal. Um, and we lost about, I'd say about 70 to 80% of our traffic overnight. And we had this for three months and we had to just basically campaign through it. Um, we thought potentially that you know, there could have been a way where we just were never gonna recover. That is possible. Um, but you know, eventually over time we, we, we dug ourselves out, we, we found a way to, to recover and um, um, it, it, we actually bought a ninja sword, and there's, a, there's a ninja, like a proper ninja sword on our wall when you walk in and it's a symbol to, you know, of that moment when we came back but also the, the struggle we went through um, to get there and also you've got to be careful with your marketing tactics. You know, if you push it too far, and we pushed it too far, you know, that's what realistically happened. Um, and sometimes you can go a bit, bit over that line. And I think in this case, um, you know, marketing tactics can be really sharp, like ninja swords. They can also hurt you if you're not careful. Your first agency was um, SEO focused, right? So you were kind of pushing the boundaries on what you could do from to to get a website visibility through search op, um, engine optimization. Yeah, we, we didn't push it too far with clients because, um, you know, for them, we couldn't risk that. It wasn't, wasn't a good idea. Um, I guess these were just experimental sites in the beginning, you know, great things come from experiments. Well, that's where I sort of try and do things. Um, you know, and we're experimenting again today with creating this new app that we're building, which is, you know, a, a total different business in and of itself, um, which is quite fascinating. What's the app gonna do? So the app will actually connect to your bank account and help you and basically automatically compare all your products for you mm -hmm. um, and just continuously monitor what you're, you're doing. Oh, okay. So it will look at what I'm spending on insurance and my home loan and my electricity bill, my gas bill and my pet insurance, correct? Yeah. And then it will so, tell me where I can save some money. Exactly right. Okay, how do I sign up? So I guess it's, um, it's in the app store and, and you can type finder.com.au um, and you'll find the app there. Um, it's on obviously Android and, and, and um, iPhone as well. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it's a great service. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join me today and share your insights in digital marketing with um, our industry. So thank you very much. Yeah, and obviously tune in guys, this is where it's at. <laughs>